Hi guys and welcome to Fallout 76. Today we're going to look at how to craft stim packs. So many players that I've been playing with in team have been jumping around the map and server hopping, trying to get stim packs out of first aid kits and whatnot. I'm going to show you how to actually go about crafting them. Let's get into it. All right, to start off, first and foremost, we're gonna need the recipe, the actual recipe itself to craft stim packs. There's two ways of getting this. One is through events. The one I've selected here on screen is called the Census Violence one. I've selected this one because three times in the past week, I've had the plans drop and I've put, in, put them in my vending machine and I've sold them for a pretty penny. Ha, <laughs> some sucker just bought some technical data. But yes, so watch, then completes, and wait, 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 I swear it's coming, it's coming, there, stim pack, see, but why rely on RNGesus, because you could be waiting an eternity, instead you could go to the White Spring service entrance in White Spring, Z. ha, now this is assuming of course you have done some of the Enclave missions, if not check the top right hand side of your screen for my playlist, on how exactly to go about that and get to this point. Anyway, use the cool little hand scanner there and zoop, just shoot on in. Take a right as soon as you're inside and we're heading for the medical bay. We can see a sign posted down here on the bottom. So we're just gonna head down and then we're gonna head down again and then we're gonna turn right and then we're gonna go straight and that's the science wing. We don't wanna go there, so keep go, 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 go. And we're gonna go here to the medical bay. Straight in and hang a right. And this is like the medical bay shopping center. We can actually buy the recipe here. Um, recipe, stim pack, in notes. It's 1100 caps though. That is a bit pricey, you might have to save up or check out other players' camps. I've been selling them for 500 myself. It's worth, a, it's worth a try, but you have to get it through one of these two methods. Either you need to get it to drop in world or you need to come and buy it here. Or if you're not to the level yet and you don't want to um, mess around, have someone buy it for you. So with that done, there are some requirements we need to go ahead and craft. Well, first we need to be on a chemical bench, obviously. So we need some antiseptic, some blood packs, and some steel. Now I hear you asking, God damn it, Digi, how the hell do I get this stuff? Well, if you need me to do a video on steel, I will. In fact, if 20 people ask in the comments, I'll do a video on steel for laughs and giggles. But in all fairness, steel is everywhere. Blood packs and antiseptic, I'm gonna show you in this video. There is indeed a recipe for blood packs. Now, thankfully, you do not have to go and chase this down. As soon as you stepped out of Vault 76, you had the blood pack recipe already, and it requires tick blood and antiseptic. Now you're thinking, Digi, this sounds very complicated. I mean, Jesus, how many recipes are you gonna go through? I hear what you're saying. However, it's actually quite simple. Let's forget stim packs for a second. Let's focus on blood packs. We need to get some tick blood and some antiseptic. Luckily, the source for both is the same. The source for both is ticks. That's it. And there's a beautiful, reliable place to get ticks. You gotta send yourself back to Vault 76 and then head just south to Moonshiner's shack. So let's head there now. Before we do, one thing you wanna do is you wanna get a perk called Butcher's Bounty, be it level one, two, or three. Three is better, but one or two if you have it. This will give you a second chance at getting more loot from the ticks. The loot we want, of course, is the ticks blood. So once we come down to the shack here, you see there's some ticks all over the place. We want to kill them naturally. We want to kill everything in this game, specifically now ticks. So there's one, there's two, and there's a tick mama. We're going to kill it too, a tick boss, whatever you want to call it, foul tick. And then when we're looting them, because we've got Butcher's Bounty on, if we just hit triangle, it will give us a second chance at loot. There we go. So I got some tick blood and tick sack there, we'll hit triangle here again. Tick blood, tick blood sack, hit triangle again. Just a sack there. Whew, there's a lot to that, huh? And that's pretty much um, all we're gonna need. Next, we're gonna move to the lumber mill, which is just south again, so one big jump in you there. And once you arrive, I like to go around the right-hand side of the right-hand building first. And as I make my way forward, this little pile of wood on the left, ticks usually jump off it or appear from below. There we go. So we're gonna take care of him. It, her, she, I don't know. Just kill them, kill them, kill them, and get your butcher bounty second search in. Now those blood sacks that I'm getting, 
those go into your junk and when you dismantle those those turn into antiseptic see so we have our tick blood and our antiseptic just from this run which means when we're done here we'll be able to make blood packs which is like so 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 close to making stim packs right so we're going to come in through this log shed thing here there's a bunch of ticks in here just run around don't try to find them they are going to come and find you there's a good two or three in here i find there two or three every every run or two so there's some a blood sack we didn't get a, a, anything else there's two blood on this one sweet now there was two i hear another one there we go there's a third second chance search yes two blood on a sack off that as well and don't forget to raid the emergency medipack thingy bob there and then before we're done i like to head over to point pleasant and cross the bridge <laughs> As soon as you spawn, there's some ticks on the bridge. Sometimes there's these really annoying flying stingwing things. If there are, just quit the game and load back in and uh, just keep loading until you find ticks. Ticks spawn on this bridge way more often than stingwing things. So it should only take you one or two loads to get them. And once you're across the bridge, like so, sometimes there's one around here, but it's not here today. So I only got two from the bridge. So when we're across the bridge, we want to kind of follow the road around to the right. And our goal here is the church. I think it's a church up the road. Uh, specifically, it's graveyard. There are a few ticks in there as well. Three to four ticks per run, give or take. So we're just going to jump in over here into the graveyard. Right. Right. There we go. And we're going to go tick hunting again. Tick hunters. Yes, yeah, a very exciting sport. This is something you could watch in the Olympics. So, we've got some more tick blood sack, which again, remember, is the antiseptic that we need, so it's fantastic. Just grab it. Grab the tick blood. If you have Butcher's Bounty, make sure you're hitting that triangle button, or Y, I guess, on the Xbox, or whatever the equivalent is on the PC. And um, just for your second chance. So you'll get more. That's kind of the plan. And we pretty much already have everything we're gonna need now for stim packs. That was really, really, really quick. If you want more, it's simply a case of, you know, jumping back to Vault 76, quitting the game and loading back in. Then you're gonna be on a new server. All the ticks are gonna be back. This takes all of two minutes, right? And you're gonna stock up loads. Look, I've already got 19 blood, right? Already. Now, I can jump back and I can do it again. Jump back, quit, come back, do that same run again. I can build up hundreds. The more I have, the more stim packs I'm gonna have. Hopefully you're starting to see how easy this is now. All right, let's get to work. To get to work, we need to mess around with our cards just a little bit. So hopefully you have these, they might be useful. Super duper in luck, if you see it over there. Super duper gives me a 30% chance. I'm um, sorry, I'm just gonna throw on chemist as well. Chemist ensures I get double the quantity. So if I'm crafting one stim pack, it's gonna give me two. And super duper in luck will give me at a three star, a 30% chance of doubling that again. So. You see, I have my blood packs here now. So I needed one antiseptic and two tick blood per blood pack. But because I'm using chemist, I'm getting two blood packs. And every time I do that, I have a 30% chance of um, doubling what I'm getting. So cool, huh? Now for stim packs, what we need is antiseptic, blood pack, we have those, and steel. As I said, if you want a video, let me know, but steel should be abundant for you. Just pick up weapons and Dismantle them. Steel is everywhere. Whew. So we can do a lot, a lot of stim packs with this. I mean, look at that. 66 minimum. So hopefully you found that some bit useful and you're going to be swimming with stim packs. If you like the video, please do hit the like button and like the video. A share would also be appreciated. If you're not already subscribed, consider a subscription. And until next time, take it easy. All the best.